Well, downtown Jonesboro will offer all kinds of unique gifts on Saturday, all celebrating area artisans. The Holiday Makers Fair will be held from 10 to 4. Joining me now with more is Melinda Kopp with Mill Spring Makers Market. And Melinda, it is great to have you on the show. Absolutely. Thanks for being we here. Yeah, made it through the me. weekend. Yes. yes, it was a busy weekend. It was a busy yeah. weekend. Yeah, I'm glad I had yesterday to recoup. It yes. was, <laughs> yes. Saturday, of course, Small Business Saturday, and we know how important that is to you and so many of the merchants downtown. Absolutely. Saturday kind of kicked off all of our holiday things in Jonesboro, and it was just a buzz. It was so great to see, and it, it really starts feeling like Christmas on, on the Saturday after Thanksgiving. So yes. we're excited to continue that this Saturday with the Holiday Makers Fair. Yes, you have a big event coming up. and. Do. This is just, it's grown, it's juried. You were telling me it's just really cool. It really is. Well, we started the Maker's Fair. We do it twice a year. So we started the Maker's Fair because our shop became so full and we still had so many artisans wanting to, to get their wares out there to the public. So we thought, why don't we have a show? So we started out with the spring fair and then about two years ago, we started the holiday fair and it's always the first Saturday in December and it's so fun. It brings a lot of holiday flair to downtown. It brings some of the best gifts and unique finds that you will, you will find for people. Um, we have 60 of some great regional artists. Like you say, it, it is juried. We had about 85 people um, apply for the show. Wow. We were able to keep 60 and it's, it, it, we wish we could have kept all because it's, it's amazing the artists that do apply for this event. And you said it is all handmade. It is all handmade. We have vendors from all over. We're really starting to get out to the region now. So we've got some people from Knoxville, a lot, lots from Asheville, Abingdon coming and joining us. Amazing pottery, woodworking, jewelry, um, fiber arts. We've got several people bringing amazing artisan chocolates. Mm. Um, so lots of great gift ideas, stocking stuffers, also some food trucks and some fun things for the kids to do as well. So you can shop, the kids are entertained, you yes. can have lunch, you've got yes. the food trucks. Absolutely. And it really is just kind of pushing for what you guys are already doing inside. And I love how we got to go in. You have so many different artisans inside. Yes, yes absolutely. And it, it's a great time just to come downtown too. And you know, you, you come to the fair and then you continue on and go downtown and, and shop the other places. And like you say, grab something from Main Street Cafe, grab a coffee from the Corner Cup. It can really make a whole day of it in Jonesboro on Saturday and that's what we want you to do. And of course you're right next to the corner cup so you have plenty of cups of coffee. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, you can smell the coffee and you can smell all the handmade soaps inside. Yes, the leather. We have so oh. many people that come in and they they walk in our, the door of the sh of the shop and they say it smells so good in here. What is that? And I'm like, I don't know. It could be the leather <laughs> or the candles or the bacon next door. I really don't know. But there are all kinds of things working together and of course those are the gifts too I love to get for people that are out of town because you've got all the Jonesboro and yes. the Tennessee and just the really neat things. Yeah, and like I say, it's it's a really good time to come and find something for those that are really hard to shop for on your list. Yeah. Like I was talking about with the artisan chocolates, we have one chocolatier coming that makes, it's called Junkyard Chocolates. Oh. And she makes like wrenches and hammers no. that, are, that are the actual size that are molded like chocolate. So it's a really good guy gift. So we've got, we do have really something for everyone. And I love the way you lay it out too. I mean, it's just fun to be there yeah. and then it gets you into the Christmas spirit. And of course, downtown Jonesboro, every weekend you guys the have something. the perfect setting. Yeah, and Mill Spring Park where we have the, the event, it wraps around and we've got the gazebo and it's all decorated with lights and a tree now too. So it is, it's just the perfect little backdrop. It's just our little own stars hollow. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. Yeah. All right, well, I'm looking forward to it. Right. It's gonna be happening this Saturday, as we mentioned from 10 until four, all right there in downtown. Town Jonesboro, more than 60 handmade different artisans going to be there. So lots of food and festive fun, as it says. Melinda, great to have you on the show. Thank you for having me.